Interactive Citizens United presents the reality of the KBRA and the KHSA. The KBRA and KHSA are supported by the following. The U.S. Department of Commerce, NOAA, the Department of the Interior, United States Fish and Wildlife Service, Oregon Fish and Wildlife, the Governor of Oregon, the California Department of Fish and Game, and the Governor of the State of California, in addition to several Indian tribes, a plethora of environmentalist groups, and a select group of water users. The primary goal of the KBRA and the KHSA is to revitalize coho salmon runs in the Klamath River in Northern California by removing four hydroelectric dams that supply over 70,000 homes in Southern Oregon and Northern California. The primary problem is that removal of these dams are in violation of the following laws and acts. The National Wild and Scenic Rivers Act by changing the river course. The United States Congress by the violation of the Dormant Commerce Clause. The United States Constitution by re ignoring the, why, the will of the people. The Department of the Interior by ignoring the mandate set by Congress. The Department of Commerce by listing a non-native species. The United States Fish and Wildlife Service by ignoring the mandate of Congress. The California Fish and Game by the violation of the Federal Endangered Species Act. And NOAA for the violation of the Endangered Species Act. Dam removal violates the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act in the following way. Departments of the Interior and Commerce, in addition to the State of California Fish and Game Commission, are in violation of the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act by proposing removal of dams that will seriously affect the flows and riparian areas of the Klamath River. In the case where the designation is below dams, for projects below above or on stream tributary to the designated river corridor, the river administrating agency would evaluate the effects of the proposal on scenic, recreational, fish and wildlife values present in the designated river at the date of designation. The standard of evaluation is whether the proposal would unreasonably diminish these stated values. There is no doubt that the proposals would seriously diminish the stated values as designated in 1981. The following branches of government are in violation of the Federal Endangered Species Act as you cannot list a non-native species. California Department of Fish and Game, Department of the Interior, NOAA, and United States Fish and Wildlife Service. The following statements by tribes that have lived on the Klamath for centuries clearly indicates that coho salmon were never in the Klamath prior to plantings in 1895. Excerpt from the Kurup Tribal Council meeting of December 2001. Council states it may be easy to prove the coho were never present. Also, the other comment was made that if they were never here, they should not be encouraged to come back. The excerpt from the Shasta tribe, the coho were not native fish in the Klamath River. There is not one historical document indicating that co coho salmon were in the Klamath River prior to plantings in 1895, 1899, the 60s, and the 80s. The expert panel indicated that coho and the Klamath are from Cascadia, Oregon plantings. The following are in violation of the Endangered Species Act by listing coho salmon in the Klamath Basin. The California Department of Fish and Game, NOAA, United States Congress, United States Department of the Interior, and the United States Fish and Wildlife Service. NOAA and California Fish and Game are in violation 
of the Federal Endangered Species Act by listing a non-indigenous species. California is in violation of the Dormant Commerce Clause, as a state may list species, however, they may not instill any regulatory actions that rivers that fall under the Commerce Clause of the Constitution. The Department of the Interior and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service are in violation of the Congressional mandate that they are limited to freshwater species only, and coho salmon are saltwater species. The following are in violation of the Constitution of the United States, the Department of Commerce, California Fish and Game, Department of the Interior, NOAA, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. In the November election of 2010, 80 percent of the people of Siskiyou County voted to retain the four hydroelectric dams on the Klamath River in opposition to the federal government wishing to destroy them for a listing of a non-indigenous species. What happened to the Constitution where it states inalienable rights for the people and by the people? With the removal of the dams on the Klamath River, it will destroy the economy of Siskiyou County and loss of water for agriculture and grazing as water will be first for fish and last for people and agriculture. In light of the prior information, it becomes clear that the KBRA and KHSA are in violation of multiple acts in addition to the following. The KBRA and KHSA are not only in violation of these acts, but they engaged in secret meetings in violation of CEQA and NEPA. Those that signed on to the KBRA also had to sign on to the removal of the dams, the KHSA. The citizens of rural America are being denied their constitutional rights by the government agencies taking control of their water and lands. They are destroying Siskiyou County by the listings of the spotted owl, shutting down logging, then shutting down mining, and now threatening our rights to water and land use. We need your help to stop these government intrusions into rural America and save our constitutional rights. For more information, go to any of the following sites. DefendRuralAmerica.com SiskiyouCountyWaterUsers.com and SaveTheDams.com Thank you for watching this video.